So we have them come in the pool and we'll um, start with just normal gastroc soleus stretches where you're, where you're pushing against the wall and really aggressively stretch as aggressively as we can, as his pain can tolerate and that's our guide is his pain. Um, at this point the surgeon feels like it's so solid that they would allow us to push pretty darn hard knowing that we aren't going to re-rupture that Achilles tendon. So we stretch knee straight for gastrox, knee bent for soleus. And we'll work really hard before we get with him walking to get everything warmed up. So after this stretch, we'll let you go through some squats. So we'll just do some gentle squats to warm. And I'm only going to have you do a few of each thing, Tony, so I won't wear you out, but tell me if I start to. And then we'll do some heel toe lifts. And this first one we do on level surfaces, and at the beginning they're probably not going to be able to, a person who's status post Achilles rupture probably won't be able to pull their toes up much at all. Not because of weakness, because that Achilles tendon and that, the gastrox and the soleus is so tight. That forefoot and midfoot is just so, it, it's been so limited in motion for so long that you develop, you develop some pretty tight joints and the foot mechanics aren't there. So. Um, We'll get in the beginning. I actually don't have to get in, but we'll do joint mob on that foot and help break free some of the mobility there on the. F and that's probably one of the most important things that you'll forget. And the pool is such a great place to work on that mobility because everything is just nice and relaxed. And once we did it the first time with a the therapist, Tony was able to do that by himself after that. It's been a long time since it's been stretched. Yeah, uh, well, I stretched it. But Okay, so, so now he's going to let himself drop into plantar flexion and then point all the way up into as much dorsiflexion as he can. And Tony's doing a great job because he's letting go some. And that's a little bit more advanced because that just shows he's gained a lot of strength and balance as he's been working. Actually, it is a bit. You're starting to get a little bit more muscle tone. Oh, actually, yeah, it really is. He had such severe muscle atrophy after. You can still see a pretty good difference, but it's much better than when it first was. Nice job. Okay, and we can turn to the side and do it sideways as well. And when you jump side, go side over. So, because now we're jumping up, down, up, down, you wouldn't do it within about the first week or two of rehab, but once you've gotten some motion and some strength, then you can start jumping down and having that control. Great job, Tony. More. Feeling okay? Just one more over. Okay. So now... The next thing we want to work on is rather than coiling down and popping, I want you just to pop, isolating ankles. And you can bend, so pop up and onto the step and then pop down off the front and then turn around. So have it come from your ankles, not so much from your, good, good job. And then turn around. So we're really trying to use more foot. Now legs together, same thing. And what we want to see is what keeps happening is that he'll start to lose his balance and have to regain. One leg. Your bad one, yep. So now we're going to take it and slow it down and keep yourself so standing. Use a little down. bit of challenges from the water, just the motion of the water to work on some of the proprioception and ankle control. So the most important thing to get out of that is put them on single leg. Now we'll throw some jets at you. Okay. Okay, let's hold it there for 
Let's just try to hold it for 30 seconds from now. Okay. Now, if you can, do you need a rest or is it doing okay? Try heel toe lifts as you stand there. So up on your tippy toes, pull your toes up. There you go. Okay, and now rest. I'm going to give you some jets now, Tony. I'm going to let you warm up just a little bit at this, and then I'm going to bring you up to a run. After Achilles tendon repair, you just want to watch because they'll have a tendency, because of the tight gastrox and soleus, they'll have a tendency to run on their toes. So you want to make sure their, walk, their gait mechanics are really nice and found and, and grounded, and they're having a nice heel strike toe off before you have them start running so that they don't just get up on their tiptoes and stay there because now you're just feeding right into what they're but wants to do and the tightness they want to keep. But you also want to have that gastroc strength to be able to to hold against that impact on the, the beginning we changed toe. the position of the camera so we could watch Tony's foot mechanics and heel strike and toe off. Nice job. Feel okay? Okay. So Tony is going to get back to refing. He's going to go back to coaching football. So he's going to have to have a lot of a, a fairly good spring and a fairly good push off and to be able to start and stop again pretty quick. So one of the things that we'll do to help work on that and I don't know that we've done this before, so this might be the first time for him is um allow him to ride to the back of the treadmill against the jets and just have him spring forward against the resistance of the jets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pump, I'm going to jack the jets up a lot. So what you're going to do, Tony, is you're going to let, let yourself ride to the back of the treadmill, but don't hit the back of the treadmill. And then I want you to hard run forward. There you got it. And then ride back. And then hard back forward. Hard, 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 good job. Hard. Oh, good job. Let's just do one more and then we'll let you rest. Let one more and we'll let you rest. Stepping, backwards walking, side stepping. So 10. Or braiding. Yep, you can braid. Yeah. Is that too slow, too fast? Uh uh. Just Okay, and now walk backwards. So. Braiding and sidestepping will work a lot on the medial lateral stability of the ankle. And then when you're ready, we'll have you do the other side. And we'll usually have him do counts of 10. Yes. Uh -huh. Heel hopping on his um, feet down the treadmill and walking on his heels. And let him. That's actually really good. You can do that without slapping your feet down. And then really focusing on balance and proprioception single leg stance and just throwing all kinds of jets and stuff like that at him. And the last thing we'll have him do before he gets out is stretch everything out again really well.